Welcome to the Health Fix Podcast, where health junkies get their weekly fix of tips, tools, and techniques to have limitless energy, sharp minds, and fit physiques for life. Hey, health junkies. On this episode of the Health Fix Podcast, I'm interviewing Maite Brines von Mella. She's the innovation product formulation and education go-to for a biostack supplement company. And in this episode, we're going to be talking about the production of the molecule NAD and how it declines with age. And we're also going to go into the benefits of taking its precursors to slow down the aging process. We also get into the connection between the molecule NAD and its impact on fatigue, brain fog, and perimenopausal symptoms. Plus, she goes into the difference between the benefits of an NAD IV versus using supplements that boost your NAD production in the body. So, If you've heard people talking about NAD and you're curious about what the heck is this thing and could it benefit you, you're in the right place. So let's introduce you to Maite Brines Von Mella. Hey, health junkies. I have Maite Brines Von Mella on today. She is the innovation product and education master, as I would say, for Biostack. And we're about to geek out on how to get more energy and how you can feel better than you did in your 20s, because I'm definitely feeling better from trying out the Biostack NAD product. And I'm excited to talk about it today. So Maite, welcome to the Health Fix podcast. Thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited to be here and share with your audience all about NAD and some of the other longevity um, protocols, but also supplements. It's like that extra cherry on top that we can do to support healthy aging. So I'm really happy to be here today. Well, I'm glad you're here because it's definitely something that it, I mean, it's my number one, number one complaint I hear in my office. Doc, I'm doing all the things. I'm working out. I'm eating right. I'm taking supplements to help my, you know, hormones. Maybe someone's got bio, you know, HRT on board and they're like, I still don't feel great. Help. What do I do? What can I start with? And I know you and I had talked a little bit before we hit record about your personal situation. Would you share a little bit about how you kind of came to the Biostack company and how it evolved in terms of you working on your energy? Yeah, so I I come from a movement and health coaching background anyway, and have always been interested in how how can I feel better? How can I move better? So I've been into biomechanics and teaching all kinds of exercises to people, but also very much on the restorative front as well into fascia release and all of that, because I believe that side is really overlooked a lot of the times we always want to go like lift the weights and run fast. But like, what about all the restorative stuff? So that's always been kind of my background movement. And then I um, ended up just meeting these guys um, that come, they're like different entrepreneurs, like from the health and sort of supplement background. And they just came up with the latest sort of longevity supplements, mainly speaking, the focus was on NAD. And we got on really well. And um, I don't know, just a few months down (laughs) the line, they sort of said, hey, do you want to jump on board? And um, yeah, that's kind of, we never look back. I just absolutely adore working with them because like so many other companies out there, they really don't save a penny on. So I'm the one kind of going up like, oh, can we do this kind of supplement to support healthy (laughs) aging? And it's like, okay, here are the ingredients. Here's the research. It's going to cost this. And it's like, okay, let's do it. And they're just up for it. They're never in for like a quick dollar or anything like that. They believe not just in longevity supplements, but also longevity when it comes to customers. And, you know, we have this wonderful uh, WhatsApp group with the inner circle of customers and we exchange a lot of experience and a lot of tips and advice. And we've got some sort of big names in the industry that are also part of the group. And it's just like everybody's, you know, sharing their experiences so great to be part of that community lifting each other up and helping each other to you know live healthier lives essentially so it's been just great and they've also um been really keen to bring really clean products to the market so there's no nasty fillers in them again a lot of um, supplements out there have things like machine cleaners inside the supplement where you think like hold on a second, this is meant to clean the machine and it's inside the supplement to make it easier for the machines to clean magnesium stearate, for example. So I was like, very much like, okay, we've got to have really clean products. We've got to have glass bottles. It's, you know, it's going to be like effective dosing. So no saving on that. 
And yeah, I mean, I can only, as you can see from my style, I just <laughs> love working for them because they're just like so up for just producing really good products that are effective and clean. I, I can't agree more. I can't agree more. I mean, definitely the the glass bottles is a huge upgrade and, and props to you for thinking of that. And also just the the emails that Adam sends out, that Adam um, is from Biostack. Guys, it's, if you get onto their email list, you can learn a ton of things. And I've learned a ton just getting the weekly emails and being like, oh, really? Oh, that's really cool. And then, you know, my tip is talking about some big names. I mean, we have folks like, I, I was noticing like Jay Campbell making comments in there and we also have um uh ben greenfield too like big, well, big um, names. yeah i mean he's he's a big supporter but yeah sean wells um, yep. who is like you no know, known as the number one formulator he's very active in this whatsapp group and obviously he's the creator of dihydroberberin um which is one of the ingredients that we use in our glucose disposal agent um which is a very popular product um but yeah it's just been great to sort of be hanging out in this group <laughs> with everyone and customers are like oh my god i've got access to like these people and i just can ask them questions which is really really cool yeah. it's it's super cool and folks who are listening yeah. you guys i had sean wells on probably like in the beginning of my podcast days, like back in the hundreds. Uh, we're on episode like 460 something at this point. So guys, it's 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 cool stuff. And it's cool to be able because I think at this point, and this is something my I would love for, for folks to hear, but also for you to kind of speak to. I mean, no other supplement companies that I'm aware of have the the access you guys do to your customers and and vice versa like have that that whatsapp and and the communication because i've not seen that and i think this day and age so many people are wondering like are supplements you know real who's making them who's where are they coming from i think that's such a big important thing these days yeah absolutely um i mean there is a little bit of a brand story with one of the founders trying to make sort of biohacking a little bit more convenient because he's a father of three He's running multiple businesses and his kind of like some of his biomarkers were really down in the basement. And he was just like, I don't have time to go and have an NAD IV that takes like two and a half hours that probably will make you feel nauseous and cost about $500. I don't have time for it. So what's convenient, what works? Mm -hmm. And that's the kind of background because we, yes, we do have some like biohackers in the group, mm -hmm. but there's also just like, people that you know they they do their training they eat well and they just want to go like okay what is what is realistic for me to do you know so you know i can have a cold shower i can do a bit of breath work it's not going to cost me any money you can do like again these supplements they're not they're affordable you know um it's and it's convenient you don't have to drive anywhere to get a um NAD IV but also I mean we can talk about this in, in a moment and take a dive in so what of what's the difference between an IV and an injection versus these tablets because this is a very unique formulations that we have in this particular NAD region regenerate product that doesn't just um give you a quick boost of NAD it actually very intelligently works on the pathways and the mechanics around building NAD, which you already have in the body, but also recycling it um, and also bringing down inflammation, which is a real like issue as we age, as being one of the hallmarks of aging. Um, so, and actually, inflammation sucks a lot of NAD molecules. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, let's talk about NAD because it's it's a hot topic right now. I would say probably. Probably half of my my patients will come in and say, what is this NAD thing? How can it help me? And I think a lot of people, first and foremost, don't realize that we actually make it ourselves and mm -hmm. and that we decline as we get older with it. So so let's let's go to NAD basics and, and let's remind folks or educate folks a little bit on what NAD is and how it can help with energy. Yeah. So NAD, you're born with plenty of NAD. Your body is very wise and very clever in so many ways, but you're born with plenty of NAD. It's uh, part of uh, making energy. So for those of you that are like really want to nerd out on this, it's part of the Krebs mm -hmm. cycle. So essentially NAD is needed to then break down food and create energy. Essentially, that's what it is. And it's really well known for that. Um, so, And we also know that we're born with it, but every 20 years or so, 
we are actually decline with this NAD status by about 50%. So if you think about from the time you're born, by the time you're 20, you've got half. And then by the time you're 40, so no wonder like kids are full of energy, they're full of NAD. Whereas a 40 year old or a 60 year old or 80 year old for that matter, might not feel as youthful as they did in their twenties, right? And it's all due to this NAD and inflammation to be honest as well. So as we get older, there is actually this reduction of NAD is mostly due to inflammation and also due to a decline of an enzyme called NAMPT. Now, this is kind of what I was mentioning about the mechanics around NAD production. So we know we have it in the cell, we know it declines, but it declines for different reasons, like I mentioned, like inflammation, because the body has been around for longer, the repair processes are sort of ongoing, and the older we get, there are more little fires <laughs> are there to be put out, right? So we know it's crucial for energy production, but it's also really, really crucial because it feeds, NAD feeds these family of proteins called situins and the POPs. And they're basically your cleanup crew. They are responsible to maintain your DNA and repair your DNA. They have these kind of different jobs. They're slightly different in what they do, the POPs and the situins, but they're basically the whole repair and maintenance crew that you need in the body to dampen those fires. So we're not so prone to this kind of low level of this constant inflammation in the body as we age which is another yeah which i mentioned is like this hallmark of aging um and in this particular formulation which we have a license for called nad3 it's an ingredient um that is um basically made out of three ingredients <laughs> wasabi theocrine and cuprous niacin which essentially is a precursor to nad and together they help to bring down some of the inflammation to raise that enzyme that I mentioned needed so your body can then recycle NAD. So it keeps the production going. So it's very, very clever in that way. And it also feeds that precursor I mentioned, the cuprous niacin, because I think a couple of years ago when, or three years ago now, when David Sinclair, who's quite well-known professor at Harvard, came out uh, with a study talking about NMN, being the elixir to um, youth, essentially, um, everybody start chucking down NMN, which um, is needed to build, or NMN or NR. So there's different precursors they can use, but they all come from the same family, which essentially is like a form of vitamin B3, right? Like niacin. And um, we need those building blocks to build NAD. So it's like giving the raw material, but just having the raw material is not good enough. As I mentioned, you need the enzymes, you need to dampen down inflammation. So there's a few mechanics that need to happen for you to really fully use the raw material. So when people say, oh, you know, I like to have an NAD IV, this is great because you will get that boost in NAD. But what happens with it afterwards? How are you going to recycle it? How are you going to, you know, use it again, essentially? It's not going to happen just by taking an IV. So you need to consider all these other things. Right. You know, I think a lot of people aren't thinking of that, um, especially when we think IV, we think, OK, it gets in the system and then it's like magically going to stay there. Um, yeah. You know, it's it's one of those things that it's it's I think there's a misconception a little bit there. I think there's also a little bit of misconception in terms of NMN and NAD, because when folks talk to me about it, it's it's I think in the head, it's the same thing. So mm -hmm. I definitely want to, let's clarify that a little bit between NMN and NAD. So folks kind of understand yeah. what, what's going on there. Because folks are always like also saying, oh, I want to take NAD orally. Mm -hmm. Well, you can't take it because the molecule is too big and it's too unstable. So we have to go, we have to go down to the next smallest thing that can actually go through the cell, which would be NMN. That's the next biggest ingredient that we could take that is not as big as NAD. And then after that, I believe, is nicotinamide right of side that's smaller than NMN, and then it would be like niacin, right? Mm -hmm. But they're all the same family again. So you can take whatever precursor you like, really, but you cannot take NAD. And if you ever see a supplement bottle that says it has NAD in it, um, that's not going to work. <laughs> it's just not. You can only take it via IV because it goes straight in, or you can do an injection, um, I know there are some suppositories out there as well. And I know there is a patch. Um, I believe there is a brand that also makes a patch, which um, 
I actually have not used or have looked at, so I can't really comment on that. But yeah, so NMN, NR, niacin, they're all precursors to make NAD. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you for clarifying that because I think a lot of people do, you know, it's confusing. It's confusing. And and yes, we have to read the back of the, the label and then because labeling will say NAD and then you look at it and you're like, but that doesn't say NAD. So I think it's very important for folks to hear that. Now talking, let, let's talk a little bit about what someone might feel because I spent here, here you go, guys. Here's me with my, my NAD regen right here. I spent the last 90 days since Maite and I talked the first time taking this every single morning. And honestly, I do feel like I, I I had a couple days where I forgot and I was dragging. I was like, oh, wow, this is what I used to feel like. So I could see the difference between taking it every morning and then on a couple of occasions when I forgot. And of course, it was once that we went hiking early in the morning and I probably needed it more than anything. But it was a very good it was a very good test for me to see like, oh, OK, I'm not crashing in the afternoon, which is one of the things that I really do see a lot of folks kind of experiencing. So tell us a little bit about the dosing and and how it's on an empty stomach in the morning. Give us a scoop. Why? Give us kind of a little background on on that. Yeah, so your NAD levels actually fluctuate throughout the day. And also there's plenty of things that you can do to raise your own NAD levels. Like we know that hormetic stresses are quite useful to raise NAD levels, like exercise or doing a sauna or some calorie restriction. But I want to be very careful what I'm saying with that. The fasting debate is definitely <laughs> like on, you know, on the roll out there. But um, so you take it in a fasted state in the morning when you wake up. And the reason being is that you already have, you're amplifying those NAD levels, which are also aligning with your circadian rhythm, essentially. So, but after you've taken it on a fasted, in a fasted state, you can pretty much like, I don't know, I, I say like 15, 20 minutes, you can have your breakfast after, that's absolutely fine. But you just want to hit it first thing in the morning. Because as I mentioned, it is part of that energy production. So and we had a few folks sort of taking it in the evening and they weren't able to sleep. And it's like, yes, because it's going to give you energy. Um, mm -hmm. So it also helps. I know like Ben Greenfield and Chris Geffen, they definitely take it. They take extra dosage when they're traveling to um, support kind of time zone change and going against jet lag and stuff like that. So that might be like a hack to use. I personally haven't done it yet um, in terms of jet lag, but um, that might be quite interesting to try it out for people. But yeah, that's the reasoning behind it because um, it kind of aligns with your circadian rhythm, those amplified uh, or the risen levels of NAD. And in the same way, I just want to say in the same way that you kind of support your NAD levels through lifestyle and even foods that are rich in vitamin B3, the, your NAD levels also de really deplete by a sedentary lifestyle and having lots of you know processed food and drinking so drinking or consuming a lot of alcohol really depletes your nad levels as well so it's just like you know <laughs> it's um if you think about like raising it naturally and but also we can deplete it quite a lot with uh, poor lifestyle choices as well the the old saying still san stands you cannot supplement your way out of a poor diet or lifestyle that that no. does not help. So really, you know, what we're getting at here is that NAD is going to help amplify the good habits that you already have. Is, mm -hmm. is Okay. So we can't expect miracles if you're not doing the other things, guys. That's, that's the bottom line here. Because I'll have a lot of people try different things and they'll be like, everyone's touting it, but it didn't really work for me. Well, what are you doing at home? So it's, it's yeah. kind of an amplifier. Hey, Health Junkies, if you've been hearing about the benefits of NAD, but you weren't sure what to look for, Biostack has you covered. Their NAD regen has the precursors needed for you to make and recycle NAD in your body. As we get over 40, our production of NAD declines, causing symptoms like fatigue and brain fog. Eating clean, exercising, B vitamins, addressing detox and methylation help, but what if there were something to give the body a bit more of a boost? NAD Regen is meant to help support your healthy lifestyle and give you an added edge in living well for life. Want to try it out? Well, head over to biostacklabs.com and enter D-R-K-R-A-U-S-E to get a discount right now. 
let's get back to the podcast. In terms of methylation, though, I mean, it's such a hot topic along with energy, along with detox. And and it brings up a huge point that like when we take supplements, we are not just like putting in something that's going to affect one pathway. It's going mm -hmm. to have an impact on multiple other pathways in the body. And I think for a lot of people, I guess maybe how we're marketed to, maybe just our thought process of conventional medicine, here's your pill, it takes you know care of that issue. Unfortunately, I mean, even in that world that we've got some flaws of how it's going to impact other systems too. So anyway, bottom line is is thinking about how things impact other systems. And and one of the, the places you're talking about with methylation, I have had a lot of patients come to me and say like, hey, I've been doing NMN, for example, and I feel like I get energy for a second and then it just like comes to a screeching halt. I'm crashing almost, you know, worse than if I didn't take it at all that would be a sign of the methylation getting bogged down. And in, in one case, let's say theoretically, you know, there's yeah. probably other things I can, you know, say, but just to, to give folks a frame of reference. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's a good hypothesis really, because, yeah. you know, you, what is it like you take away something from something else. So it's just that, I mean, again, I just, I just love this field because we know more every single day every single day is a new study coming out again when i talk about like three years ago like taking an nmn you know like back then everybody's just doing that not considering oh okay but what happens to it like when it breaks down so do we actually know right. about the salvage pathway do we know right. and it's like and it's okay because the normal consumer which i am a regular consumer really i always think about like it from that way so what do i want to put in my body what what do i want right. you know and what don't i want and not everybody needs to know the whole science of it but the more we know about it i think it's really important to kind of share that message it's like oh hold on a second there is such a thing as too much of a good thing mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. even though yes an mn is great but you need to consider everything around it now we know about how it works we know how you know it impacts you know how these mechanics need to work so that's just not gonna that alone won't cut it but yeah you can diy you know sort of with supplements but again we're all about convenience we're all about like effectiveness and, and clean and safe supplements so that's how nad region kind of was created really mm -hmm. makes sense it makes sense you know the the recycling component and helping our body to recycle. I think a lot of people don't realize that we we do recycle things. We can take things in a, in a form that help. Like your, your Glynac, for example, the NAC. I don't think a lot of people know that we can recycle glutathione, which is the end product of NAC supplementation. So N-acetylcysteine, guys, for, for those of you who are like, what is NAC? What is NAC? Yeah. I think most people know now, thanks to um, it becoming so popular with the pandemic. But I think we're not... Yeah we're not maybe taking as much advantage of understanding or maybe education on we can recycle things like like the glutathione. Let's talk about Glynac for a second because I think it's fun to, I know we are talking more about NAD today, but I do want to talk about your Glynac product a little bit um, yeah. in terms of how, how we would pair Glynac with NAD regen because I think a lot of people too are at a state where they've depleted. Maybe they had a baby at 40 and then start going into perimenopause right away and they're like oh my gosh i'm getting every cold under the sun because my kiddo's young and i feel like just crap yeah how do we pair those two together for a little yeah. bit of cycle fun it, it is um so essentially what glynac so our product is called glynac plus because it's got the extra benefit of the um calcium alpha get glutarate in there which is again also great for energy metabolism I'll but it does it. a bunch of yeah, it does a bunch of other things as well in terms of muscle. And I mean, again, the studies, the, I mean, I tell you this, when I, that's the one, when I put forward to create our own Glynac pr product, they were like, okay, what are the benefits? And I was just like, <laughs> they were like pages and pages and pages. This is why for your audience who don't know, Glynac is made up of glycine and N-acetylcysteine, right? So Glynac. And it works so beautifully together. The synergy between the two are so beautiful and so um, well studied 
that they actually made up a new name and Glynek was born, right? And it's probably one of the most um, studied um, longevity supplements, I would think, on the market um, because together, one of the things, and only one of the things it does, but I think it's most well known for, is making glutathione. Now, glutathione is the master antioxidant in the body, and it's really, really essential. And especially for again for women, it's a really, really important part for detoxification. Your liver loves it, and I think detoxification is another issue that we kind of encounter as we get older. Because again, the liver has been around longer. It's been, you know. Again, I'm, you know, I like a good glass of wine, like the next person, but it's like in with good um, sort of like <laughs> dosing and, <laughs> and not too frequently. But um, I think it becomes harder for, for women, especially because essentially the liver goes like, OK, I need to break down this cortisol because you're like super stressed. I need to break down this estrogen. There are like a couple of cookies and there's like processed food. There is maybe some other medication. There is, you know, there's a lot. And then alcohol goes in and goes like, hey, guys, I'm going to go and jump the queue. I'm going to ride right to the front. You guys can step aside. I need to detoxify all the stuff first. So the liver, um, I'm in love with the liver at the moment. I'm doing like liver flushes and all kinds of stuff. So I really appreciate what she does for us because she does a lot, like hundreds of different processes um, that she does. So glutathione is super important for liver health. And as it declines as we age, it's absolutely essential that we have some sort of protocol to raise glutathione levels. This could be via taking something like glutathione, which builds um, sorry, Glynac, which builds glutathione, but we also have a product that is straight glutathione. It's a patented version of glutathione that raises your glutathione levels as well, which um, in this case you would take in the evening um, to help as your liver in overnight time kind of, you know, detoxifies and, and so forth. But yeah, it's a uh, Glynac on top of that glycine really really well known again um maker of collagen <laughs> uh, muscle soft tissues in general it's also um it can be really helpful for that sleep onset even though this particular product uh, we recommend to take it uh, in the morning mm. because of the calcium akg in it um, again energy metabolism I mean, glycine, the list is kind of endless. And then NAC, I think, became uh, well known during COVID um, because a lot of um, folks took it just to help with the respiratory health. It thins the mucus layer as well. And um, one of the manufacturers, he's actually part of this WhatsApp group with like 200, 200 doctors on it. And every single one apparently takes NAC. So that, <laughs> <laughs> you know, that says something. But yeah, the kind of the benefits are kind of endless um, when we talk about Glynac. So it's a really um, like basic longevity supplement. If you look up the studies again, in terms of um, longevity, it's very, very strong literature. And, you know, it, it's a it's a good product, yes, because so many people can benefit from the NAC, especially now. And, and the glutathione, I mean, I love it because, like you said, the liver and it's regenerative and the two together were what I was taking um, to begin my journey here with with the NAD and and the Glynac. Um, I did feel like, oh, okay, I'm feeling really, really good. And and the one thing with the Glynac, I wanted folks to understand NAC. We can recycle the end point product of glutathione. We can break it back down as long as we have adequate vitamin C and vitamin E in the body mm -hmm. and alpha lipoic acid. So this is kind of cool stuff. Like we are using things that we can recycle in the body here. So it's not like you take it and you just pee it out. I think that is the most, the other biggest complaint I get from a lot of folks is you take something and you just pee it out. Here we've got some things that are actually going to be. Now, one of the things we talked about before we hit record that I really wanted to highlight is hormones and estradiol and estrogens and the connection with NAD. Because for a lot of women, once we hit like perimenopause, menopause, energy is, is hard to come by. And it's tough. So give us the scoop on that. Yeah. Um, so I think by now, and I think it's been great the last 
three, four years, I mean, everybody's talking about the menopause, all the sort of like, especially like on social media. I mean, the word is out. Like we can talk about it now. Like no one is embarrassed about it anymore. It's fine to age, right? It's okay. We have permission. We're all for healthy aging, right? So, but how can we support our body? So as we know, estrogen affects everything. Right. So we know when a drop of estrogen occurs, it affects our bone health, it affects our heart health, it affects our cognitive function, it affects our skin health, it affects pretty much everything because we have estrogen receptors everywhere in the body. So, of course, everything is going to be affected by as well as with the drop of estrogen. NAD metabolism is affected by it, which is, if you remember at the beginning of the when we start chatting, I was just like every 20 years it goes down. So for women hitting 40s let's say they're hit with this nad decline anyway on top of thank you very much a drop of estrogen i mean you couldn't make it up right it's like i know let's give women a really hard time <laughs> let's drop the estrogen let's drop the nad so no wonder that one of the most complaints symptoms of menopause is a lack of energy and brain fog alongside hot flash and uh, menopausal weight gain and all of that so Um, So this is that connection. We also know um, that it really impacts your insulin sensitivity. Again, it's that estrogen connection with bringing up the uh, baseline of inflammation is going up. We know, as I mentioned, insulin resistance is going down. So, um, yeah, so it's it's not really great news, but it's news. But there are so many ways that we can support ourselves, again, through lifestyle and through the right supplementation and potentially medications or hormone replacement therapy. Makes sense. Makes sense. You know, I think for a lot of people, you know, we're thinking like what can pair well, right? What can help us? And and one of the things I've found with, with NAD boosting types of supplements is that it does seem to help women when they first start bioidentical hormones to get into the adjustment of them too. I don't know what it is about starting bioidenticals, but boy, sometimes it can be really rough. Yeah. It takes a while sometimes to find the right dosage. I Mm. certainly, if I share with your audience, so um, I went into early menopause, meaning that was, I was, um, it was younger than 45 years old and my period um, disappeared for over a year and there was no other reason. It's just the factory shut down. There was no more production going on. And, um, and this is despite like living like, you know, a healthy life, so to speak. And, um, and yeah, symptoms were there, like that energy thing, slightly going crazy in the head thing. Um, I had like one or two hot flushes a day. So not feeling too great. And it was around the same time I start learning about precursors. So in the first instance, I start taking something called that NMN, that precursor. So mm-hmm. and I felt like I, I took quite a high, do- high dosage. I kind of based it on like, oh, David Sinclair is taking a thousand milligrams. I kind of went along that line, not thinking about, you know, or not knowing about the NAD mechanics. But um, so that was that was a big shift for me along as well as taking bioidentical hormones, which took a good couple of months to kind of find um you know the right sort of dosage from me but you know looking back (laughs) really now and i mentioned this earlier i definitely so i'm 48 now and um i feel better than i did when in my mid-20s 100 percent. i'm stronger like i can lift heavy stuff (laughs) (laughs) um i definitely more stamina and i have like much better energy as well i'm definitely more aware of like all the good stuff like i know i don't um underestimate the power of sleep and stress management definitely there you know i have that in place but this is kind of that extra like amplification of like great energy levels which makes me then want to work out (laughs) you know which then makes me really tired so i have a good night's sleep and it's like that cycle and it goes the other way around as well so women hitting the menopause they're tired so I don't want to go to the gym. I'm tired. Like my aches, my, my joints ache, you know, I just need energy. Okay. I'm going to maybe grab some extra carbs that might not be particularly great because Mm. insulin sensitivity, as mentioned, is also like a thing that kind of disappears in that, with that audience. Um, And then next thing, you know, you're not sleeping well because you got like, you know, your blood sugar dropping and you wake up, you're tired and that cycle repeats and you're just like, no way out you know and sometimes like take start taking hormones and taking supplements 
is like the first step for you then to have more energy to then go like, you know what? I'm feeling good. I want to go work out, mm -hmm. you know, rather than trying to pull yourself to the gym, feeling tired and trying to have that discipline, but your body is just not feeling it. And you just kind of, that's not going to last long, that, that sort of discipline, you know, if you're not feeling well. So sometimes the good first stop is kind of looking at hormone levels and, you know, iron out any deficiencies as well. I mean, mineral deficiencies, I'm sure you see that a lot with your clients is also something that especially I find when I was working with clients as a health coach that post um, natal phase with everyone having children older in life, right, going into perimenopause, they're kind of overlap, yeah. you know, and you've just grown like a human being, you're mineral depleted, hormones all over the shot, and you're actually kind of like going into perimenopause at the same time. You don't know whether you're coming or going. You don't know what's wrong with you. You just know you don't feel like yourself anymore. So, yeah, and it's like I said, like it's a, like us women just really like, <laughs> let's make it tough on them, right? We we do have some some hurdles. And one of the <laughs> things you mentioned that, you know, I don't think I've ever really thought about it like you said, we're overlapping having children late in life, then we're heading right into perimenopause almost. And and I think that's a biggie for a lot of women. They're so, so depleted. And then the body like just, or sometimes it's like the impetus that kind of causes the hormones to just completely mm -hmm. go off the rails. And I'm like, wow, there are so many ways I can think of how how we're, we're depleting minerals, right? But not only that, what cellularly we need for our energy. And so going back to NAD for a minute, because I think a lot of women are like, okay, vitamin B3 is like niacin. Okay. We we've heard of niacin, this thing, we know it goes into our cells and makes energy. And then we've talked about the NMN thing and nicotinamide riboside. I used to be into that big time before folks really started to talk more about the, the NAD boosters and things of that nature. And and so I think a lot of people might still be in that realm of using those products. Can we talk a little bit about what is different in terms of not having that recycle capability from taking something that's an NAD booster versus a precursor and not having any of the other things to help? Yeah. Um, so the main issue that might occur is that, yes, you might get actually a bit of energy from the precursors like I did with mm -hmm. the NMN, but essentially it's just going to go out again, isn't it? Because there's no material to recycle it. And then mm -hmm. the other thing that we, and there was actually, um, we had three studies done on the NAD3 ingredient, which is made mm -hmm. out of the three components I mentioned. And what we found is other than some side effects like lowering cholesterol, boosting, you know, NAD um, levels. Um, and what we found is that actually it doesn't impact your methylation status. And this is something Ooh, that yeah. potentially just taking precursors alone and just taking IVs or injections or patches without thinking about methylation can be a real issue because you're going to overburden, overcapacitate your methylation, taking it away, methyl donors away from other systems in the body that need them. And methylation, as we know, and some folks are genetically, they might overmethylate or undermethylate anyway, but as we get older, Again, it's like one of the systems in the body that might need a helping hand or <laughs> might need some extra B12 or, you know, extra sort of supplementation to support methylation. But um, and we've seen in the study that it does not impact methylation, which is fantastic. So for anyone taking just precursors, they need to think about taking something like TMG or B12. They also need to think about raising enzymes through other ingredients like resveratrol or like we or green coffee extract or there's like all kinds of other ways that you can actually raise the enzymes but I mean why run out and get these like five different six different things when we have actually a product that's like you know we have clinical trials done on men and women by the way <laughs> not on rats or anything like this it's like human trials on men and women that has clearly shown this stuff works and it doesn't actually have those nasty side effects um, that will impact your methylation status. The right <laughs> ingredient, right? You need, you need everything in place. So yes. you, it's not going to recycle if 
you know, if, if there is no, um, if, <laughs> I always like to, same with NAD, just like, let's look at a factory. We need the raw materials, but we also need the machines to work. So if mm -hmm. one of the machines is not working to do the work, then, you know, you can put as much raw material as you like into the machine. It's not going to work because the machine is broken or the staff is lazy or, you know, however you want to put it. All the bits need to work for that recycling process to happen. Makes sense. Makes sense. Do, do you recommend like in in a let's call it a biohacking universe or or for those of you guys who are, are listening to this that are like, oh, I don't I do not identify with biohacking. Let's call it optimization. Do you recommend? I like that word better. What have you seen in different folks, maybe yourself included, with antioxidant levels and using the the NAD regen? Because I know there's like, you know, I've had um, Chris Mirabili from Novos on and mm -hmm. he's kind of talked about his product there. And a lot of folks maybe might, might be wondering now, like, OK, what's the difference between NAD regen and Novos Core? Like, how, how can we distinguish those two? And how, you know, because Novos Core is talking all about how they've helped folks to rewind their their biological age and things of that nature, like the aging Olympics and things of that nature. How would you guys compare in that case with NAD regen? Like what's, yeah, what's the difference? I don't, I, yeah, I know of them. Um, I had looked at their website before, but I've never taken it or I'm not quite sure what sure. the um, ingredients are. I don't think there is anything that you can take that will make, that will just turn back the clock. Again, mm -hmm. it's just like, there are so many components that make up your health and you got to hit, like most of them, but also there's that genetic component, I believe that's also plays into it. But there is, you know, there is a lot you can do. And this is not just exercise and food and supplements. It's, I think something again, that I mentioned at the beginning um, of our call is that, you know, that relaxation, that restorative, that emotional side, the where, where are you with your community and your tribe and, you know, the sense of purpose, you know, all of that is like hugely important. So I don't think it's just that one thing. Um, when you're asking about what we've seen with our customers, so what we get is super good recovery. Again, most of our customers are really clued up when it comes to healthy lifestyle choices. So they might be able to hit a little harder in the gym, have better recovery, more energy, first of all, for the workout anyway. And then I think the most kind of important part on a cellular level is that we know that we're fueling those, that kind of DNA repair and maintenance, which I think is so important because we're more obviously prone to chronic diseases as we get older. So trying to dampen those fires as much as possible because that chronic inflammation will lead at some point to a an illness if we can keep that down. And this is something that we can say like, and I don't know, you know, a couple of decades, like, you know, customers have been for us that long because again, it's about longevity. It's not like, oh, I quickly take this for three months and I'm, you know, I live to a hundred. Right. It's not that. Um, I think, and there is like Chris Gethin, who's a huge supporter of ours. He's done the Glynac testing and he's like 20 years younger, but it's not just because he takes NAD region and, and Glynac. It's also because of all the other things that he does. So I don't think it's ever one thing. Um, there was this woman recently in the paper, I'm sure you heard about, she like reversed her aging or slowed down her aging. Um, far higher in terms of percentage than Brian Johnson who's, mm -hmm. who spends like millions of dollars a year on all this thing and she takes I think she takes this Novos thing right mm -hmm. but she also eats a lot of vegetables she also works out she also does all these other things so um I love that because everybody all the hardcore biohackers is like oh my god what is she doing <laughs> it's like you know and she's like only spending like 80 quid like 80 dollars a month on it so um yeah, yeah I think it always goes back to lifestyle first mm -hmm. supplementation and you know be kind to yourself and to the people around you that will you know take you you know <laughs> hopefully into old age and hopefully it will take you dynamically into old age because I always say that if you think about all the things that you can do right now you were talking about hiking surely you want to still do that when you're 80 mm -hmm. right Surely you just want to keep going mm -hmm. on that. You want to keep your independence. You want to be able to travel. You want to be able to use your body in all the ways, you know, uh, with as little pain, <laughs> as little discomfort as possible. That's the kind of aim to increase that health span. Mm -hmm. No, it's, it's huge. It's huge. And it's definitely something that I think for a lot of people, what NAD regen and, and products like Glenna can do for you is literally keep the fires minimal. 
keep your energy yeah. up and you may not see like drastic you know miraculous you know progress unless of course you do and i'm i'm hoping I, i'm sure it is going to be changing and and is is the organic acids test and see like your oxidative stress level goes down because it's really one of the the main ways or things like the true diagnostic test that that Julie Gibson the gal uh -huh. who who won the the anti the aging Olympics or whatever it was called, um. But nevertheless, this kind of stuff is meant for the long game. It's meant as like a multivitamin for your energy and cells is kind of how I see it. It's not meant for a short game, and this is yeah. where I think a lot of people have some confusion in in products that they use it yeah for it's like that that shiny little toy right in the world that we live everything is quick everything's here everything i want it now mm -hmm. you're in for the long i mean you know if you want to live decades from now then you're in for the long game so you got to be patient and you got to um you got to take action now so one of our lines is definitely you need to prioritize your future health today mm -hmm. right Obviously, mm -hmm. yesterday was the best start, but today, let, <laughs> make it happen today, not tomorrow. So um, yeah. I think that's that's what it is. What can you do today? And, you know, I just did a post yesterday on the connection between collagen and NAD and how NAD basically boosts up these fibroblast cells to create collagen, right? Rather, again, we're talking about the mechanics of collagen. And it's not that I'm taking it now and I'm going to look 20 years younger. But what I'm doing is you're taking it so you're going to slow down the breakdown of that collagen, you know, so like in 20 years time, maybe you still have that <laughs> youthful <laughs> glow that you had in your 40s, you know, I mean, it's like, it's healthy aging, yeah. you know, healthy yeah. aging. And God knows, I mean, I definitely wouldn't want to have the wisdom of a 20 year old. I'd rather be like having, knowing what I know now. And just imagine like how awesome you will be as an 80 year old, like all the stuff that you know, all the experiencing that you have. And the more people we have in our society that, you know, have that experience and have the skill and have that knowledge, the better off we are. I mean, it's just, it's just going to be like beautiful to have like healthy elderly people that, can live by themselves and do their own thing that don't, you know, they don't have to suffer or their relatives have to suffer and see them in decline, but actually able to contribute to society um, because they have the experience and they're wise. That's, that's what I'm looking forward to. That's what I'm looking forward to for myself and, and hope for everyone else and why I do this podcast, because I want folks to really understand what is out there, what is available to you and, and knowing that, yeah, like you said, this is the long game and look at her skin right now. I want everyone I'm to flushed. look, I'm like look at you. <laughs> oh no, but it looks good. It's so, it's so clear. Um, it's, it's good. I mean, it's beautiful skin. It's beautiful. You have beautiful skin. And so folks, thinking about, you know, these products and what they can do for us on the long game is, is something to, to work with. And, and really, because this goes into your cells, this is a cellular thing. I think a lot of folks, you know, we want to hammer this down before we sign off today is that this is a cellular thing. We are helping your cells to age better here. So I'm going to let you take over on the last, let's give them one, one good point in terms <laughs> of cellular benefit of having the NAD regen in the system, like what, like? Yeah, so I mentioned the sirtuins and the pops mm -hmm. and, and they go down into the cell, they help to, we want DNA repair basically. Yeah. And that's constantly going on. The time it's not going on is when we sit at the doctor's office and go like, oh, this, this is not like something is up, right? This is when we know that cellular repair is no longer happening so we want to we want to keep that you know and you can take charge you can do all the good stuff and it doesn't mean that you, like living a strict life somewhere in the cave or anything like that you know it's just like we all want to have like a piece of butter with some bread I mean there's nothing better than that right? <laughs> and then just like but do you work out you know yeah yep. so yep. it's like you know balancing um the good stuff you know 100% but yeah cellular age is the stuff that you don't see and it's the stuff like we only know once it's gone wrong when it's really hard to reverse um chronic diseases and so forth so yes you can't see it but you will feel it so looking after it now is you know you can take charge of it it's in your hands <laughs>
<laughs> Thanks for, for explaining that, Maite. I really appreciate it. It's It's definitely a mission that I'm on to help folks understand that you can do things now. To, yeah. to help slow down that aging process. So let's tell everybody where they can find the Biostacks Labs products and website and this WhatsApp if folks can get in get into that group too because I think a lot of folks are like, what? I can talk with people that are using the product and get it in a connection with a, a supplement company? Yes, please. Yeah. So yeah, you can find us at biostack.com. So we, we dropped the labs. It was just ah. too much, of a, too much yeah. of a mouthful. So it's biostack.com. Um, the Insta handle is still at Biostack Labs. And yeah, come and say hi. Um, subscribe to our newsletter. Like you mentioned, um, our founders, they are, this is not like an email marketing agency. This is all us writing and sharing from our personal lives or sharing what our customers are saying. We are very, very big on community. Um, we love, you know, that communication with our customers because ultimately it's 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 all about that right um so yeah reach out all righty well thank you so much for coming on and sharing so much more yeah and also we'll we'll set you up with uh, a discount code as well so folks can definitely kind of get um some discount if they sort of go via you so we'll send you a we'll set up a link for you and uh we'll i'm sure you'll post it in the show notes or something like that Absolutely. It'll be in the show notes, um, that discount code over at drjkrausnd.com. Thanks again, Maite. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. I really enjoyed talking with you. Hey, Health Junkies. Thank you so much for listening to another episode of the Health Fix podcast. To help support my mission to bring you tips, tricks, and tools to help you optimize your health, I'd be grateful if you'd like, subscribe, and write me a review for the podcast. And if you hear a product you're interested in on the podcast, you can now go over to my website to learn more. That's doctor spelled out, J-K-R-A-U-S-E-N-D.com. Just click on shop and you'll find all the information on my favorite products that I stand behind and use myself. All affiliate income earned with your purchases goes directly to help support the production of the podcast so I can keep bringing you quality health information. I appreciate your support and I'm honored to have you listening to my podcast as a fellow health junkie. Thanks again.